they finally work. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and breakdown on these bad boys right here. This is the Reebok Question Pumps or Pump Questions. Basically, these are another hybrid from Reebok, which uh, Reebok going hard with the hybrids right now. It's pretty cool. A lot of people were actually asking us to review the previous colorway of these, which were a black base colorway, black and orange. Uh, I did not get a pair of those. Reebok was kind enough to send these over, so I was super happy to check these out. And I'm happy to report quality is awesome, which should be expected. I always find it weird when people are like, Reebok quality is trash. I'm just like, bro, you've clearly never touched a pair. The leather on these is better than anything that we get from any other brand half the damn time. So I'm wondering if it's still just an issue of people don't understand how to word their stuff. Is it quality or is it craftsmanship? Those are two separate problems. Craftsmanship is the build, how they're put together. Quality is the actual materials that they actually use. And that is awesome. Like you cannot deny real suede and real leather. It's beautiful. Now there is another hybrid that they sent over as well. I believe we did review these. These were a different colorway as well, but uh, this is the Michael Chang and Reebok Shack Attack combo. I love these. I think that these are gorgeous. This colorway is really awesome too, because this just screams 90s all day. Now, you would probably see Zach Morris walking through the hallways with these on. Actually, these look more like an AC Slater shoe. Now, while I won't do a separate video on these, is because like Reeboks just don't get us views, unfortunately, so we have to play the stupid ass YouTube game. If you wanted a full breakdown review, you can go check out the other video, but the materials, again, are fantastic. Like, you won't see leather like this on the majority of products from the other guys. I'm not going to say who, because it's damn near all of them. The materials here are awesome. However, the materials on this bad boy right here are just really, really nice. Like the leather alone is just super soft and supple. Like it looks and feels amazing. This is just great stuff, man. Like I wish that more people loved Reebok. I just, I feel like the people that did grow up with Reebok either are out of the sneaker thing. Like they like grew out of it and they're like, nah, we're, we're straight. Or the current sneaker realm is just all whatever makes you money. Like we were at that, um, what was it called? Beer Fest? Brew Fest? Yeah. So like we were there and like there were so many people there wearing sneakers. Like it was weird. You can kind of spot like a sneaker head, like a real one. You know what I mean? And so like I'm just kind of like, oh, okay. Like sneakers are really popular. Like all kinds of people wearing them now. And then somebody asked me about my shoes, which I was just wearing the Lost and Found ones. Very nice person. So I'm not trying to, you know, dog or anything like that. But then he started talking about how a friend of his recently got into shoes and it was all about resale. That's the current landscape it feels. That's not sneakers. Like sneakers are not a value cop. You don't buy them as an investment. These are just shoes, man. I still think that Reeboks are awesome. Uh, I hope that most of you guys that are here do as well. And again, these are a mashup or a hybrid between the Reebok question, one of my favorite shoes of all time, and those bad boys down there, which I'm, I'm not sure if they could even see that, but the D-Browns, the pumps. They can see this beautiful card. Right here. Do I think that this mashup looks great? Like the Michael Chang and, you know, Shaggy tax i don't think that they look as good but the materials and all that stuff are fantastic so i can't knock that it's just not my favorite look of the reebok question personally i think this just doesn't belong here oh that's all however the outsole is gorgeous yes it's piss yellow i kind of like it though you don't like it i need to drink more water hey it's like a gatorade <laughs> color you know what i mean like i actually like it it doesn't look like it's pre-aged per se even though it kind of does it just looks like i don't have to worry about it however reebok question outsoles are one of them shoes that you don't typically have to worry about but these are my old ones i don't even know what year these are from the uppers yellowed more than the soul has you know these ones i played indoors and outdoors in same thing reebok's got it down with the blue and clear outsoles where like they don't yellow too badly there is some tinting and stuff but it's not like that so yeah the midsole itself is eva per usual and it feels like a brick per usual a lot of people uh in, myself included like when i originally saw the original reebok questions i thought that these were actually functioning hexalite pieces they're just windows basically they're glued on there and they're made to make you think that like oh yeah this is what the tech is inside the shoe the thing that is kind of deceiving though is that while there is hexalite in the heel of the shoe there is none in the forefoot so having a pod there is just kind of like that's a bad move in my opinion but it's such an old shoe that they're not going to change it now you know what i mean it's not original hexalite that's another thing that a lot of people are like why do you keep talking about it's not original hexalite blah, blah blah look man i do my best putting up the pictures of original hexalite if you don't see the difference i'm sorry man. you can feel the difference like i wore the originals they're way better than these they just are and then the insole anybody has ever owned an original pair of reebok questions knows this is not it like look at this man look at this 
However, the materials are fantastic. Like I was saying earlier, the suede on here is great. And again, the leather is awesome. It's super soft, super supple. I absolutely love it. One of the things that they changed though is the question logo or the Q logo on the rear. And they ended up using a partial Q logo and then the D Brown no look dunk, which I think is really cool, but I also would have loved it just to have been D Brown. But either way, the back of the shoe is dope. I just wish that it was cleaner looking. Maybe if they made the Q look like a hoop, they just dunk it into the question, like the Q logo or whatever, but it's neither here nor there. Now, the only thing that I really don't like about the overall Reebok Pump D Brown questions is just the overall colorway so far. I really like what they've done with the Shaq Attack and the Michael Changs and stuff. I think that those look very much like the 90s. I, I just think that they feel like what they're supposed to. These are playing a little too hard to the original shoe, which I understand, but I would also like to see a little bit more maybe questionisms in there. You know what I mean? Like some pearlized looks, like if they were like all white with pearl suede, or I know that they can't pearlize the suede, but like if it was like blue suede or something like that with like blue instead of red, it's just something to make it like be like more AI and less D brown, you know what I mean? But maybe they're only rolling out those two colorways first. Maybe there's more AI tributes down the line. I'd also like to see just better colorways in general. Like you don't always have to go OG, you know what I mean? Like you can spice things up a little bit. Like that's something where Jordan Brand does a great job. Maybe some people think it's oversaturating, but man, there's tons of colors that everybody can choose from. You can always find something that you like. Whereas with these, it's like, do you like orange? I hope so, because they're all looking like that. Okay, so you do know they're orange. Do you really think I'm colorblind? You had referenced red. <laughs> you had said, it would have been cool if they're pearlized blue with some red, or instead of red. So I'm just making sure that you knew that it wasn't red. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I was saying this is more that than it ever is the question. Well, the entire bottom, the base of the shoe is question. I'm, I'm talking about the color. Okay. I'm talking about the color. I want a different colorway, that's all. I haven't loved the colorways. I think colorways can make or break a shoe. So far, I'm not feeling these two. Interesting, because they're almost like your wheat. No, they're not. And you like the wheat. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Now the main feature on these guys that are really make them what they are <laughs> is the pump system. And thank goodness it works. I can't get it to work on those black Shack Attack Michael Chang shoes, but on this one, they even sound like the way that I remember where inside the mechanism, like whatever that sound is, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't just sound like air just getting sucked in and out. And like you could really pump these joints up, man, because if you hold the release valve, like it just like forever. It didn't do it very loud, but it was there. Did you hear it? Mm -hmm. You can hear it in your headphones? Mm -hmm. Let me do it one more time. Awesome. Wow. Was it this one that was loud? The pump works, it's only in the tongue. I thought that it might be in the surrounding collar area because the interior sculpting is a little bit different than the original questions, but it seems to be just isolated in the tongue area, just like the old D Brown pumps. As far as their fit is concerned, they do fit true to size, whatever you typically wear, that's what I would go for. Again, they're not the most comfortable shoe underfoot or anything like that, but you know, an insole swap can change that. Or if you're just used to wearing like firmer bottom shoes and stuff like that, then you should be fine. And again, the materials, the quality, all that stuff is fantastic. Obviously the look, the colorway, the mashup of the hybrid is up to the person so personal preferences and all that stuff and feel free to sound off below and let us know what you think about them is this something that you're into is there a colorway that you prefer is there a colorway you'd like to see i think that'd be interesting like a denver days just i'm just saying like i'd like to see a little bit more i don't want to see only omni zone when i see this i want to see some reebok question besides obviously the reebok question that's all wheat <laughs> but with all that being said thank you so much for being here we'll catch you on the next one until next time have a good one.